Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Thursday, July 12th. And uh, the headlines are going to be about four more uh, pretty warm and becoming more humid uh, days. And then I think we see a decent pattern change that will bring slightly cooler temperatures. But more importantly, I think it's going to really uh, become more of a moist pattern. And uh, right now, it looks like Monday we could see some pretty good soaking rains. Until then, some scatter storms tonight into Sunday. And again, I think we could see over a half inch to maybe an inch of rain as we get into the day on Monday. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that, and hopefully that uh, uh, computer models continue to trend towards a pretty wet day. We could certainly use the rain. We've had one hundredth of an inch of rain here over the last 15 days. And you can see uh, normal highs of 83 and normal lows 58. We're at about the warmest period in the next couple of weeks of the uh, summer. And uh, 82.8, that was our high yesterday, 58. That's the only the third day where we were below the normal I and mean, just by one degree. And you can see yesterday's high, 88 degrees in Muskegon. Don't see that uh, high temperature in the state very often over there. And the low temperature, 48 degrees at Newberry and at Gaylord. If we look at the uh, another look at uh, yesterday, we had a lot of growing degree days for the individual locations. Here are the raw numbers so far. This is as of the uh, midnight on the 11th, and you can see this year ahead of the last couple of years, and even more uh, a better look at that. And you can see each of the individual locations how much 2018 is as far as growing degree days ahead of the last couple of years. So very significant as far as growing degree days this year. And up until about two weeks ago, moisture wasn't really an issue for most places. This morning, you can see temperatures in the 50s to around 60. The warm spot, Blissfield, 61.8. The cool spot, over in Brown City, at 54.8. On the uh, satellite, you can see the big uh, ring of fire and uh, the storms moving around that uh, heat dome. And again, as we talked about yesterday, they ride up and crest over the ridge, and then they begin to sink to the southeast. So far, they have not been able to make it into the state, but as the whole uh, uh, upper ridge is starting to shift a little bit farther west, we're going to see a big trough develop over Hudson Bay, and that's going to mean flattening of this uh, dome, and that's going to allow for a better chance of showers and thunderstorms to ride into the area here. And again, starting on a scattered basis tonight into uh, Sunday, and then I think we got a pretty good chance of widespread rainfall on Monday as it looks right now. As far as the radar, you can see some of those showers and thunderstorms moving up across Minnesota. Very, very intense rainfall across portions of east central Minnesota into Wisconsin. Some of those thunderstorms now making it into the state. And if we look at the weather map this morning, again, that high pressure system well in control, forcing most of the action off to our northwest. Eventually, that will begin to break down. And then tomorrow we can see the uh, uh, chance of rain lines sinking further south. Just again, 20, 30 uh, percent type uh, showers and thunderstorms expected for tonight into tomorrow. And then again, the heaviest rains continue to be uh, sagging off to our south. But eventually this cold front's going to weaken and die out. And that's going to set the stage, I think, for a little bit better chance of moisture coming up and then dropping into the state as we get late in the weekend, early next week. And then finally, I think high pressure will come in and bring us some cooler, drier air for Tuesday. But then we may see another pretty wet system as we get towards the middle and end of next week. As far as how much precipitation over the next seven days, again, plenty of precipitation finally moving into the area from the southwest. And uh, we'll keep an eye on that. These uh, amounts certainly could increase here over the next couple of model runs as we do see a trend uh, in a wetter uh, scenario for uh, early next week. As far as weather watch this morning, again, as we talked about yesterday, the heat eventually creeping into the area. We got, again, four days, mid-80s today. I think we get up around the upper 80s to near 90 uh, for uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And again, you can see some of the uh, severe thunderstorm watches and uh, flash flood watches and flash flood warnings in eastern uh, portions of Minnesota and in northwest Wisconsin. As far as the forecast goes today, again, just low chances of precipitation here in the next a uh, few days, again, temperatures warming up into the upper 80s to around 90 degrees, and that'll last right into Sunday. And then again, our big uh, day, I think, for moisture, looks like it's going to be very, very late Sunday night into much of the day on Monday. Right now, we'll say greater than a half inch is certainly very possible, and we could even see amounts in some areas around or over an inch. Thanks for stopping by, and have yourself a great day, and 73s to all.